Hi everybody, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a podcast in iMovie. Now, realistically, GarageBand, which is a program that's available to us, is probably a better program for this, but I'm personally not very familiar with it, and I know a lot of students are not either, and it's, it's a little bit more complex. So um, iMovie is a program a lot of you have used before, so I often recommend if, you're, if you know iMovie, just use that. If you know GarageBand, absolutely use that. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record some audio. The way I do this is I open QuickTime Player, which is available in the launch pad here, or as always, you can hit Command Space and start typing it. And um, you can't really tell it's open. It does not open a window, but it is open if you see QuickTime Player up here. I'm gonna go File, New Audio Recording. I'm gonna select the correct microphone, first of all. I have the Yeti stereo microphone uh, going, so I'm gonna make sure I have that selected, and then I'm gonna hit Record. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my wonderful podcast. The topic of discussion today will be uh, the Prohibition era of the 1920s or something like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. I hit stop, and then I want to save this. I already have an audio file, so I'll call this one Audio 2. Save it on my desktop, and there it is. All right, now I can close that and I will open iMovie now. There we go. Now I went to projects uh, up here and then I said create new and then I selected movie rather than trailer. You can see this beautiful picture of donuts I was working with in a different video here. Uh, but you want to select movie, not trailer. The first thing that makes it a lot easier to work with here in iMovie is if you can get an image in here. It can be an image of anything. The point is you're not going to be seeing this at all in your podcast, but I have this Iran history image here, so I'll drag that over into iMovie, just drag and drop, or you can hit the import button here and navigate to find it. So I've got my image here. I'll just make it fit, doesn't matter, but okay. So I've just got a still image. If I zoom out on my scroll bar here, I can drag this out quite a ways. So let's say my podcast is going to be, you know, a minute, so I'll make it there we go. It's about a minute there that I've dragged that out. I can always drag it further. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, but that's just a placeholder for now. It makes it easier to work with an iMovie if it's actually thinking you're going to make a movie. In the end, however, we are going to be exporting this as a, doing it as an audio-only file. So you will not see this image. It'll just export as an MP3. Next step, we want to get some audio in here. Um, I happen to have downloaded a clip of a song. Actually, it's a full song. Uh, so let's see if I can find that here. I think it's in my downloads. There it is. I'll drag this song over here. If you can get an MP3 somehow, you might be able to find some free 1920s music or something online, some free downloads, or you can always use the built-in uh, audio here in iMovie too. They have some jingles. They have some uh, sound effects. Uh, you can also use the YouTube free movie or free audio library which has a lot of good stuff to search for YouTube audio library now the, I don't want so much of this song I want far less of it and I'm going to be mostly just using this as a little bit of an intro for 10 seconds or so so here we go let's listen <laughs> Drag it out a little bit longer so we get some resolution. Okay, maybe maybe resolution is not going to happen. <laughs> uh, now, this little circle here can be a little finicky to click on. Sometimes it's, it's tricky. So I recommend being in full screen in iMovie. And there we go, now it let me. So I'm just going to fade that out. And I'm also going to reduce the volume of this down to something much lower. All right, and I can maybe start my voice recording right here. Now, one way would be to import that audio file that I recorded in iMovie. And I've generally found that this leads to better quality audio um, if you record with QuickTime and then import it. But maybe you don't care that much. It is a lot easier just to use the voice over. Or maybe I decide I don't want any overlap and I just want to put it right here. That's fine too. I can trim the edge here. 
oops, wrong button. There we go, trim the edge there so that getting less of that dead, dead air. And now, Space bar is pause, play, and stop recording. Command B is another useful shortcut if you happen to have a cough or something like that. I can hit Command B, split, and then Command B again over here, and I can get rid of this part and say that was the part where I coughed or um, someone slammed the door or whatever. I can get rid of that part. And then there we go. You can record bit by bit in iMovie if you want to as well. Let's say you have a paragraph or a line at a time and you just want to do it right in here. You would hit this microphone button and then you would make sure you have the correct microphone selected and then you can hit record and we can just start recording. As part of this podcast, we will be having many guests interviewed, many famous people that I'm sure you've all heard of. All right, so then I've got a new bit of audio there. All right, so there you go. I've got that new section in there. And you could choose to record it all at once, or you could choose to record it little bit by bit. Uh, but either way, you get all your audio clips in here. You can add some background music. Make sure you're adjusting the volumes as needed. Make sure that you know all the audio clips are relatively equal. Uh, and this one looks a little quiet. You know, the, the music gets a little too loud, turn it down. Sometimes you have to put it down to 10% or something like that in order to make the uh, voice clearly audible. That's the priority is the voice. So once you have your podcast, you've got some music or sound effects and voice, what you're going to want to do is finalize it. And the way you do this is you go to this share button up here, file. And then we're actually going to do, instead of video and audio, we're going to do audio only, and I'm going to choose an MP3. Okay, I hit next, and it's going to save it to my desktop. Podcast. You'll see this circle up here slowly filling up as it is finishing. Uh, sometimes it takes a while to do that. It can take a few minutes. Uh, hopefully it should be quicker when it is just a podcast. Looks like, yep, just a few seconds here. And now... That has been successful, and I can go ahead and listen to my finished podcast and hand it in to the teacher, however uh, she wants me to do that. So again, GarageBand is a totally fine option, but if you're looking to do it in iMovie, hopefully these tips have been helpful for you in terms of uh, how you could make a podcast work in iMovie. Thanks for joining me. Let me or your teacher know if you have any questions.